So if you are new to sculpting in Blender, one thing you quickly notice after sculpting a face with low voxel size or any complex object is the huge number of vertices, edges, faces and triangles your model ends up with. While that's expected during sculpting, it's not ideal for performance or for the editing. In most cases, you want to reduce the geometry to keep it as light as possible. Now there are a few couple ways to do this. You can either use QRemeshify, a third-party add-on or Blender's built-in decimate modifier. In this video, we'll compare both to see which one gives better results. Let's start with QRemeshify. Once you download it, you can install it by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, then Enable it. After that, you'll find the tool in the right-hand toolbar in your 3D viewport. Now, I'll give it a value, let's say 0.5, and click Remesh. Let's allow it a few seconds to do its job. So here's the result from QRemeshify. And as you can see, it doesn't look so great. The topology is messy, and it just doesn't give the clean results we are aiming for. So I'm going to hit Ctrl plus Z to undo that and go back to the original mesh. Now let's try Blender built-in method instead. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'll head over to the modifier tab and add a decimate modifier. Let's start with a ratio of 0.5. Originally, we had about 547,000 faces. And now it drops to around 300,000. Let's take it even further. I'll reduce it to 0.1 and now let's see okay we are down to 97,000 faces that's a huge improvement even after this drastic reduction the shape and form of the mesh remains intact which is good enough so based on this result i strongly recommend using the decimate modifier over external remesh add-on like q remeshify at least from what i've tested once you're satisfied don't forget to apply the modifier. You can even reduce it further depending on your project need. Just make sure your details hold up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.